Facts Verse presents When Roommates Search Through an Old Lumpy Couch, They Make a Startling Discovery. Help us spread the word about Facts Verse by clicking that like button, and also be sure to subscribe and click the notification bell so you don't miss our future videos. People go to thrift stores hoping to find treasures that the former owner no longer wanted. You can find vintage clothing, antiques, furniture, and old records at a thrift store. When three roommates went to their local Salvation Army, they never imagined what they would end up bringing home. Larry Russo, Callie Gausty, and Reese Workoven found an apartment in New Paltz, located in New York's Hudson Valley. Each of the roommates was either enrolled in college or recently graduated. Because of this, they didn't have much money, which was what led them to move to a neighborhood that wasn't considered the most luxurious. They didn't mind, though, because they were finally on their own. And now that the trio had to make rent, well, they had to make sacrifices. There were no dinners out. Instead, they lived off ramen noodles and cereal. Rather than going out at night, they would spend their nights at home together in their apartment. There was one thing that they were willing to spend money on – they needed furniture for their new apartment. Well, they knew they couldn't afford a brand new couch, so they headed to the Salvation Army to try and find something that they could afford. When the roommates looked at all the couches, they found a few that they liked. Unfortunately, they saw only one couch in the store that would fit into their living room, and it was ugly. They tried to ignore the appearance of the couch, though, and just be thankful that it only cost them $20. The trio lugged the couch home and then set it up in their living room. When the roommates sat on the couch, they began to regret their purchase almost immediately. The couch was lumpy and very uncomfortable. After sitting on the couch for only a few minutes, they started to think that there was something in the couch causing it to feel lumpy. The three roommates started feeling inside the cushions and the pillows to see if there was something maybe hidden in there. The students searched through the lumpy old couch and they made a startling discovery. When Reese pulled out a thick envelope, the trio was shocked. They kept searching, and they kept finding more envelopes. By the time they were finished, they had several of them. When the trio opened the envelopes, they found that they were all filled with money. There were a variety of denominations that ranged anywhere from $1 to $100. There were so many bills that counting it took a lot of time. Finally, when they were done, they counted $41,000. Well, they talked about how much rent they would save if they paid with the money they found. Reese said that he'd love to use his share to buy his mother a car. When they found one last envelope, it put a wrench in their plans, though. The last envelope contained bank deposit slips and other documents with someone's personal information. They were sure it was the name of the person who the money belonged to and it didn't take long for the roommates to decide to do the right thing. They called the Salvation Army to get the previous owner's name and address. When the three roommates got to the address that they were given, they saw that the house was in very bad shape. There were beware of dog signs hanging all over the fence. They weren't sure what type of person would open the door. When a little old lady opened the door, they felt better about their decision to return the money. The woman told the roommates that she grew up in a time where banks couldn't be trusted and because of this, she and her husband hid their nest egg in the couch. When her husband passed away, she forgot about the money. It didn't even cross her mind when her children bought her a new couch and they donated the old one. The woman told the trio that she'd been struggling financially since losing her husband and she was thrilled that they returned the money. When they gave the money to the woman, she counted out $1,000 and gave it back to the trio. She told them they deserved the money for being so honest. It may not have been $41,000, but $1,000 for a $20 couch? That's not a bad return. The three roommates were happy that they did the right thing. The woman was happy to get her money back. Many of their friends told them they were crazy for returning that money, but they didn't care. Their friends, they didn't meet the sweet old woman who had lost her life savings. They did, and they were happy to return it to her. And subscribe for more.